And hello again folks, it is I Kamikaze here to bring you more Dongan Rongpa with my air conditioner running in the back room because it's already reached like 80 some odd degrees and I can't stay cool enough. But And this, we just found out what Ryoma died. The short gentleman. Actually. Yeah, why would one of us? I mean, well, then again, that little shit back there might have done it, for all I know. Let me move my microphone closer. And my monitor over. Wow. Alright. Someone among us. How this happened? Then... Huh? We kind of have to. Because... I still gotta find out what's in that room. I do. But apparently I can't make friends with her. Maki! Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? Oh, shove it, Mew. Incomprehensible. Yes. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rantaro's investigation. Although, I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Jeez. Always messing around. Right? You're not gonna do nice. jack crap. You right. <laughs> Who's the culprit, little shithead? Huh? What? Right? Oh, like sheep. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not gonna really be suspicious of her. Uh, but will he ever say anything that helps any conversation? Yeah. And can you stop saying yeah? Right. Degenerate male! You got me! You said a certain person show, you moron. You gotta be kidding me! I... No. Anyway, because it's impossible. Huh? Not possible. Why? It's magic. It wasn't magic. I'm a mage. You haven't proven anything being magic yet. Seriously? Come on! Cut it out already! <gasps> what? Hmm. Right? Yeah, let's dis dismantle the entire freaking thing. It seems as if we must do it. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all our lives, because we're risking our lives in this class trial. But seriously, I'm trying to figure out in 
how that ends up working. Shuichi. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? I mean. All right. Sidekick, huh? Huh? Your sidekick? You know. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. <laughs> but uh but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean Leave it to me. Huh? Got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Kaido was making me a sidekick like this. Could it be? Is he trying to help me? Hey! Okay. Ah, right. At Kaido's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. He was only three foot five inches? Three foot five. My god. I mean, you could grab a yardstick and he's five inches above that. How in that? Well... Him being a tennis pro, that is absolutely amazing. 88 pounds, chest is 24 inches, I don't even understand that. Blood type B. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning, his body consumed by piranhas until only bones remain. No other injuries can be confirmed. Come on, man. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm? Remember. The victim is Rantaro Money. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is, but the fuck couldn't discover blah blah blah. The victim is subjected to blind force. We already covered all this. Blah, 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 blah. But... But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate time of death. What? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But... Thinking about it that way, it implies the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Well done! There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It looked like there was a crack in his skull. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we we'll might be able to unravel the case from there. Well, then again, it does say he drowned. So that has to be the cause of death, so I take back what I said. All right! First command? It's pretty commanding as I expected. Okay, so, I mean, before I start investigating, I'm trying to think. So it was magic that she was able to escape. But then, how was Rantaro, I mean, Ryoma, placed in there? If he was drowned, that means he would have... Had to have been drowned before. And that's why the time of death is important. While we were all being attacked by bugs. Oh my god, I just realized that, uh, that robot Monokuma cub thing put back the, um, cub pads. Maybe they didn't give back the right cub pads and someone found out something they didn't want they shouldn't have wanted to know like uh maybe ryoma who they killed was one of these people's uh 
Familia. Um, and that's why they sought revenge. But he was handcuffed. I can see the handcuffs from here. It's a large tank of a uh, large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. But well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. Okay. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There's a trap door at the bottom. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. I mean, my brain is like getting fixated on things. Like, there's a trap door at the bottom. Maybe uh, there's water below it, and the trap door rotates. And while she was rotating down, it rotated uh, Ryoma up. I mean, that's just thinking way too much. Let's, uh, yeah. I make the assumptions, and so far, sometimes I'm right, most of the times I'm wrong. Or I miss some note. Got it. Because we broke the glass, there isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. Let's look at his belongings first. So the piranhas didn't touch his belongings? I mean, don't, okay, it, just to justify the reason why I was saying that is because um, if Rantaro's body was in with the piranhas, it would have already been eaten. And so he had to have been drowned beforehand and not been in the case. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. So he had everything on him. Ah, That's it. If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Remember. The motive video. We should find out who's video Ryoma had. Oh. Maybe he went and apologized and then got killed. No. I can't say for certain, but we should check, just in case. Although he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point in thinking about that now. You know, I think uh, Kirito, uh, the guy he's partnered with has uh, my monopad, or Kuma Cub thing. Yeah, this is going to keep those fish alive. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. Can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Uh, wait. Yeah, I can. <sighs> why would you feel like eating them? <laughs> why'd you even, yeah, why would you even consider eating them in the first place? Amen. Come on, man. But, but... Whoops, sorry about that. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... What a surprise! Wait. What? N no. More piranhas. Huh? But, but... Ah, so they look more crammed together. Dear, dear. But he couldn't have been in there because he was intact when he was in the water. Oh my! What a surprise! Super, 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 super! <sighs> more piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. Crammed piranhas has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. Holy shit, that would be a lot of piranhas. They would not fit in that bucket unless uh, they are very well condensed by Gonta. Okay, so the curtains were mended, but what's behind the, this part of the curtains? Is there anything suspicious about this curtain? Hey. That's... Hmm. 
Hmm, I don't believe so. I don't see anything suspicious about it. But I mean, she was mending this when no one else was around, and for once, for once, she said she was busy. Instead of saying that she'll get to it, she said she's busy. And what's on the other side of this? Hmm. Well, I can't even investigate the tank. Timer. Huh? What is this? That is. Hmm. Ah, I see. Well, that has to have something to do with it. They got really professional stuff done. Everyone was relying on her way too much this setting. Alright, I guess look at his bones. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. <laughs> well, we kind of saw him get eaten. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing more nothing but bones. Damn. Well, he died from drowning, thankfully. Well. The water filled it with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. Jeez. It's not that he wanted to die, he felt like he needed to die or some something like that. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was just jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have the same reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. Dot, dot, dot. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. And there's small scratches on them. Cups appear to be stainless steel, so... Not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs is... THE MAGIC ROOM! Could it be... he's a prisoner? What? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. Truth bullets. Oh, that's a glass panel. I can think that shoots my idea out of the way. Hmm, there's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. So, what exactly is this pane? Square glass pane!
All right, that's all I wanted to see around the water tank. So now, so I can go look. That kind of shot my idea out of the water about this being like a trap door. Because then again, why did I think it was a trap door at the bottom of the thing? This area here has to have something. But why can't we see it? Why aren't we allowed to see it? Well, now I'm at a loss. Completely. I should investigate this stage. I'm sure there's a clue there. That's why I clicked it. Hey! You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. Well, you said you'll find out and you'll do anything. I need you to find out how this trick worked. Well. I see. Or don't ask her that. When I stood on the stage and looked up, the piranha tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look like as though it has a lid, so I can't see the ceiling straight through. Only the front side is glass, the other sides are made of wood. So the piranha tank had no lid, and the only front was made of glass. Hey, so... Ah. Hey, Kaito, you helped carry the supplies for the show, right? Got it. You know... Yeah, it couldn't have been. Unless Gonta helped. That is... Ah! Ah, Kurumi. It seems as if... That actually makes sense. Hmm. That is correct. Corona tank. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? Okay. Yeah, but ah. higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. Kaito quickly headed off the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so... You are the sidekick. Hush. Thank you. Yeah, I suppose so. Thanks. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. Climbed, climbed. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open! Wait, what? The swimming pool's on the other side! He could've been drowned in the swimming pool, then hurled over. But... Who could... I mean, he's only 88 pounds, but still, who could throw an 88-pound person over a wall besides Gonta? If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Not necessarily, but most likely. The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. We need to see the other side. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. The pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. 
The window had a frame and distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. Those look too consistent to be the handcuffs. And since the handcuffs were around his wrist, he couldn't have been hanging from it either. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Truth bullets! I climbed down the, from the ladder to the stage. Hey! Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you, Kaido. Jeez. He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I've investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. Hmm? Okay. Okay, we've already done that. So we're going to have to go to the other side, but we're going to talk with everyone, but we're going to do that next time. The same rules apply. If you like this, shoot it up, do the things that help me out. If you enjoyed this, see you in the next episode, blah, blah, blah. I never have a specific outro because I suck at it. I will see you guys next time.